and we have all of our information there that's good okay let's end that now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here let's double click on this yeah double click on that and I'm going to use an if statement there to get the data in place so right in here there so I'm going to enter as follows if the data that is selected oh, let's delete that first and get an error copy this first now try that again if the data that is selected dot value equals let's say 52 89 then I want the following LBL that would be cost cost title dot caption equals what uh, I'm just gonna call that serious Games research. There, that's my very first one. And LDL cost tutor dot caption equals. Let's make that doctor. All women. Yes, I am a doctor at last. Good. And I'm going to now say else if else if I'm gonna copy all of this. Let's just copy that and change things around. Copy paste there. And another else if then we we'll change it all around. And if now the value here is four forty-eight fifty-two. So all I just need to do is to enter the course code and so on. So I'm gonna to have to speed that up. This is going to be software software engineering. So let's speed that up. And there yeah, that's taken care of. So let's run it just to see how that's gonna work right so click on this there and all of the data if you guys can notice all of those data are there as well and that is me entering this these very lines of code there okay now that that is done let's take care of deletes double click on delete we have taken care of exit so let's take care of delete in the case of delete I'm going to declare an integer variable dim i as integer there and for i equals one to range and the range I'm going to make that that would be my range because I don't want you to delete the very first one so I'm going to say the range that's a range A enter let's get rid of this and put that in a quote as well the speech mark dot end X up one, one up. There we go. That's the right there. Dot roll, and that will be minus one. So that's take care of my my title. The roll title will now be deleted. So let's use an if if list the display. dot select 
dot selected equals i then I want the following rows um, i plus one dot select okay uh, we then say selection dot delete so selection dot delete and if then that should take care of that and if I'm gonna get that indented I'll just do it let's come in here and we can get the indentation here indent here yeah. all right so that is fine indention here as well and let's enter next the i next the i right and that's it because i've used the for loop i must next that for loop as well okay that is fine now i'm going to take care of the resets double click on the reset in the case of reset I'm going to declare let's say dim txt comma and I'm going to dim delete as well deal. call that deal so I'm going to use a for loop again so let's say for for each txt in now I need to find out yeah my frame that frame is frame two in frame two dot control I should be controls okay now if the type if the type if type of text is MS form dot text the text box then I want the following to happen txt dot text equals play that's fine so I'm going to end if get rid of this and if there okay and I also need to get it nested come down here and let's get let's next txt there so that takes care of that I have two frames where I have data so I'm gonna copy this paste again for the next one and I'll just change this to the here one two three and four there we go okay but I will also need to reset my dates else it will clear that as well and reset these guys here as well yeah grab that date and paste date underneath here and what else do I need to okay, I need to clear the text whatever text I have here paste that there that is text equals clear then I also have my labels LBL yeah there they are grab those two bring them down here and we clear the data that we have in there and that's it that should take care of the reset so let's try out the reset we are almost done okay we select here reset there we go that's fine the date will always come back so that's good exit out and let's take care of 
hard records there okay for my hard record the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to declare the following variable i'll call the first one weeks and that's going to be as worksheet worksheet okay let's type it all out there we go that's the worksheet now the next one is i'm going to deem add data let's call that add data as range there we go now our data is range then let's say set worksheet equals sheet number one that I'm working on and I'm going to now set set add data equals sheet dot range and it's going to range from a sixty-five thousand three hundred and fifty-six there and that is going to be dots to the end this x l up x one up dots this offset it so that it goes straight to the next line right into one year comma zero there we go right now our data our data is going to be as follows our data dot offset the very first one is comma zero and the value is dot dot value and that value is going to be my very first data which is the student id student id dot text there that is taken care of i'm going to copy this i have some other records there yeah and this is going to be one we have one here, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I have up to seven. When I get to seven, that should be cost code. So I'm going to change that to C, C O B, cost code. All right, then I have two more underneath. One, two, and that is eight and nine. Nine. All right, and those two are these. So let's let's grab this and just bring it there. So type in this that here and copy this cut that off paste that here so that is done get rid of this and the other one bring all of these here there and get rid of this so that is care of that now these ones this is in the first name We have surname here. Then we have address. After address, we have postcode. Then telephone. Good. What else do we have? Enrollment dates. Dates and row. Yeah, that is it all done. So underneath here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this guy here that I have on my 
the list box that calls the form and I'll just paste that underneath here that is what calls the add the data on the workbook straight onto my onto my list box however this is going to be B there and that is it I think that is it all done so I'm going to save okay minimize that save that run okay decision time okay I'm gonna enter my first data so let's say that is the student details and the name is Alan Alan Boyce address of boys 57 let's say workman lane and the post code telephone number and the cars that is on there and that's all there is to that so let's click on add let's make sure Alan is not there for you guys to see so I'm gonna click on add and right here guys those are the details of Alan boys I've actually clicked on it three times so let's use that to test or delete delete we've got rid of one and there we go get rid of the other one there that is fine so I'm just going to show you guys the details of Alan on my workbook then we call it the end of this tutorial so I'm going to exit out yes and let's open up the worksheet and right there those are the details of Alan okay and let's run it one more time then we can just call it the end of this tutorial so run so with that guys i'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you guys enjoy it and um, please do subscribe to this my second channel and uh, i will keep uploading onto this ch second channel so make sure you guys are regular on this channel and you all have a nice day now and bye for now